Today, guys, um, I'm Melody Blue, and, um, welcome back to my channel. Um, I have sad news. Um, those that's been with me know that my dog, I call Baby Blue, um, she is dying. Um, right now, she's being made comfortable. And being showed that she's loved. And whatever God's will is, will be done. And, um, so, yeah, guys, um, she could pull through, but it looks bad. It looks really bad, okay? Um, got to find uh, bear with me, guys. Oh. Uh. Now, I don't know where. Uh. I had my pencils put. Ugh. In a bag. Oh. Oh my goodness. Um. God knows where that's at, you know. No, that's not. Well, now I don't know where my thing with my red, orange, and yellow pencils are. Um, yeah, I don't know. That's not it. Hopefully, my caregiver hasn't, uh, Picked it up and done something with it. Guys, just bear with me because I'm at the last spot that I had them at. Oh my god. Okay. Not nothing I need. I have them. Thank god. Okay, sorry about this mess, um, you know, having to deal with my beloved dog that I've had forever, and I know she's old, but come on, she's hanging in there, but, oh my god, it just doesn't, they, they just don't think she's gonna pull through this. And so, I don't know what's going to happen, but true to my word, when I say you can use coloring for anxiety and depression, and I do, this is where I come, because I know I'm adding another color, uh, lemon yellow. Some in there. What I want to do is flick, flick, flick. Oh, that was lemon yellow. That's dark green. Don't want dark green. This is green. Just plain old green. Let's use that. Yep, yeah, this is my, this is what I do. Um, I come here. Uh, this is yellow oak. Flicking that too. 
And I'm going to put just a touch, not much, just a little bit of orange in my leaf. Um, then I'm going to come back with the, the lemon yellow. Now, if you want a nice fall leaf, this is the color right here. Uh, I'm going to come back with that green, and I'm just going to darken that up. Just flicking. Uh, go back with my yellow okra. Just flicking. Okay. Now, I want to use a little dark green. Now, these are small flicks. I'm flicking up. I'm flicking down, just making my, come back in with a little blood orange, just be careful with the blood orange because too much of that with the green and you'll have a mess. Okay, so there's a nice fall type leaf. And, um, oh, uh, I'm going to use some deep cadmium in there, too. Um, okay. Now I'm going to use pea green on this one. And I'm flicking. Just flicking. Then I'm going to come in with the deep cadmium. And I'm just flicking. Just flicking. I'm going to use some pea green. And make sure you get your shadows in. Gonna go back in with the deep cadmium. Flick, flick, flick. I'm gonna make these leaves look distressed, like like it's fall. I'm going to use a little bit of blood orange in there, too. Not a whole bunch. If you do it a whole bunch, you're going to mess up. And I'll come back with the deep cadmium. And I'm not, I'm intentionally not following the lines and striping these leaves out. It's not how I want it. Okay, now I'm going to take plain old green and color in there. Then I'm going to take dark green. Do my little shadow there. That there. Come in with some lemon yellow. Oh, guys, bear with me. I'm not in... I'm not in very good territory right now. Um, no, I'm not. Okay, this is a buttercup. Still flicking. This is a lemon yellow. Now I'm going to come in with this deep cadmium. See, I'm still flicking. I'm 
make sure you get your shadows in. And I'm going back with a lemon yellow. And I'm still flicking. Go with yellow okra. See, it's kind of got a and I put my shadows in I'm lightly going over where I went before lightly. Looking at that. Oh, lemon yellow. Still flicking. Now I'm gonna use this some more up here, right there. See where those shadows are? Right there, some. Right there, some, and there, some. You want to get some shadows in there. And. Since it's a buttercup, I'm going to use a little bit of, teeny tiny bit of orange in it. Not much, just a little. And uh, up here where it's darker. Okay, let's go back with lemon yellow again. I'm going to flip down. Look up, and it's all whatever color you're trying to achieve with it. Um, beginners, I would say look at a reference photo and go by that. Um, of course, buttercups come in all different colors, you know, some are pure white, some are pure yellow, some are more like this, where it's Kind of orangey and kind of yellow. So, I'm just going to flip down there where it's up. Oh, and I'm going to put some in there. That's my shadow. Get in there. And that's my buttercup. But I did want to show y'all these uh, fall leaf colors. This is more of a spring. This is more of midsummer. And these are going into your fall. And uh, I'm losing everything off my desk again. Anyway, so that's how, well, that's one way of coloring a buttercup. You could make it all orange. You can make this all orange and these yellow. Hey, the world is your oyster, honey. You do whatever you want to do. Because I guarantee you the art police aren't going to come for you. Nope. The art police is not coming for you. So, that's all I, I, you know, 
I, I don't know how long this video is yet. But, anyway, I tried to bring y'all several different color combos for, you know, your leaves and your flowers and these are pansies. I'll have to, I'll have to get a reference photo to color those. Um... So, guys, keep my dog in your thoughts and prayers. Um, she's old. She's like 20 years old. And uh, she's got spunk. She's, she's fighting, but I don't know for how long. And um, so I'm praying. I pray to God she pulls through. It just, um, it's just hard, you know. I get this news about my granddaughter. Now, I've got a dying dog. Which, um, I don't want to say that. I don't want to think it. But, reality is what it is. And... You have to deal with it. So. But anyway, yeah, I did want to bring you the fall color leaf combo. We're still using the same greens I used over here. I just, and we're still using the red, orange, and yellow that we did here. The, the petals of the leaf. Petals, <laughs> petals of the flower. Bleh. Um. That's why I keep, I keep my palette back, because I can always, you know, it's going to come in play somewhere down the road anyway. I kind of keep it in the scheme of things. So, um, that's the fall leaf combo. You can use this on any of these leaves, and it's going to look like a fall leaf. This, this one that I used the blue in, more of a spring, and this is more summer, and this is your... Of course, you could go all brown and yellow if you wanted to, to make it really look like fall, but, I mean, I didn't want to do that. But anyway, I keep all my pencils that I'm using out of the set, and keep them usually in a little bag, and, uh, or if not, I, I'll get a little cup and put up here, and keep them in there just just to make sure you know if I have to go do something else like this I've got those colors and yeah okay guys um I love y'all very very much and I just don't know what to say I'm 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 just I'm just running on autopilot right now. But I knew I had to come in here and color cuz that's that's all that keeps me sane is coloring. When I tell everybody this is this is what I do to conquer uh depression and anxiety and how that got on uh, that's how I deal with it. Pays to keep one of these handy. Um, I haven't had any problem with these Derwents doing it. But, some of the others... I've had Prismacolor do it. And these might if I've, you know... But, you get little crumbs or little tiny... I don't care how clean you keep your desk. You're always going to get it. And if you don't get it off before you rub it with your hand, you done smeared it, and your picture will look dull. So, this is a very soft makeup brush. Right, I try to tell you all everything I use. Um, so, if you're following along, I'm sorry it's going slow. I've had a lot to deal with. I still have a lot to deal with, and 
I, I just don't know what to say, y'all, except I love you very, very much. Until the next one. Peace out. Bye.